Growing up in Boone County, West Virginia, you know, the work ethic of the people, obviously everybody there's a coal miner or a school teacher, so, you know, it, it just taught you, you know, blue collar mentality, how to work. Uh, people weren't afraid to work, and the whole community supported everything that you were doing. If you ask Tony where he come from, he'll tell you in a heartbeat, Van, West Virginia. He's proud to be from here. The community is more like family. When you go to Van High School, it's like being, you know every single person, and people are good to you here. It's a great place to live as far as knowing everybody. I mean, you just can't beat it. And my brother Chuck, you know, he was a mom, a dad, a best friend. Uh, you know, so, so we did a lot. I mean, we grew up together basically, and you know, he had to fill all those roles. We um, cut grass just to make ends meet and put food on the table. I mean, you know, just the basic necessities. People think a telephone, a TV. Well, we struggled to have a telephone and a TV. Being a football player at Van High School was special, and a baseball player, but, you know, on Friday nights, the coal miners would get off and they would still be in their bibs and their hard hats and, and coal dust on them, and they would stand on that hill. And when you walked out, you know, if you didn't play hard, if you didn't give your best, they would call you out on a Saturday morning when they saw you or whenever it may be. So, you know, the one thing that we always felt we had at Van was a hard edge and we were tough. Well, my dad, uh, he actually worked in the mines for 20 years before he died of black lung. And um, he told me and Tony our whole life, he said, you don't want to do this. So he always tried to push us away and told us to make sure we go to college and make a better life for ourselves than going into coal mines. The coal mines in, in Boone County, it was the richest county in the state at one time with, with all the coal that was being produced there. Probably 80% of my senior class I graduated high school with, the males went underground. I mean, that, that was kind of a way of life and, and what you did. So, you know, that was the first thing my dad said is, look, you know, well, yeah, you can work in the coal mines, but go to school and get your degree and go play football. The coal mines aren't going anywhere. When you come back, you can go to work. Well, I think he knew if I ever left and went and played and, and explored different things that, you know, I would never go back underground, which, you know, wasn't like we weren't proud that my dad was a coal miner, but he wanted us to get away from it because he knew what's happening today was gonna happen eventually. Well, Tony has a drive about him. If you tell him he can't do it, you better get ready. He's coming, 100%. From this town, nobody's ever really made it outside of here. Very few people from a single A school like Van makes it to play college football. But Tony, um, he always said he was gonna play football and he always said he was gonna be a football coach. And I always said, if you're around people I know, just say you're gonna be a police officer, a fireman, a real job, but he showed me. I mean, I've always loved it, you know, always, you know, wanted to be a part of sports and and just kind of found our way and being at different places, whether it was Arizona, Michigan, Pitt, you know, I've always wanted to come back and I never thought I would have the opportunity because of the way that we left. And, you know, obviously some things you can control and some you can't. As an assistant coach, you, you kind of have to go where you have a job. And it's like anything else, you, you really don't know what you got until it's gone. And, and when I left, you know, I thought, wow, you know, well, I can go to Michigan or go somewhere else and, and make all this money and do all those things. And But it, it wasn't the happiness I had here work, walking out onto that field where it really means something. And, and I think anybody that can work and go to a place that's special to them every single day, I mean, there, there's no better job in America to me. Tony gave a donation to our um, local hospital where they're building a new hospital, um, Boone Memorial, of uh, $25,000. And um, when I asked him why, he said he just wanted to give back to our community. You know, I'm at the point right now where I wanted to give back, I wanted to help, and I was able to do that, which, you know, any time that I could help anybody in, in Boone County for anything it is, I will, just because of when we were coming up and growing up, that, that a lot of people reached out to me. You can come within probably a 30 mile radius of this place, and then you can ask anybody here, you know Tony Gibson you're going to get a story, guaranteed. Because he knows everybody here, everybody's proud of him for making it from here. One of their own has made it. That's the way he's looked at here. You know, everybody knows him. So they're, of course, they're proud of him for making it where he's at today. 
To be able to coach in my home state and know every day that the people in Van, West Virginia, when they wake up on Sundays or when they watch that game on Saturday, it means that much more because one of them is here. You know, for my family and just, just for the whole state of West Virginia. I mean, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I've been other places. And, you know, any time I was at any other place, I was always thinking about West Virginia. So, like the song says, country roads take me home, and it did, and, uh, you know, blessed to be here, and hopefully I can finish here. Mm -hmm.